making modern meat uh, requires a whole recipe of different ingredients, everything from fertilizer to monocultures of corn and soybeans to antibiotics. And all of these ingredients sort of have their own uh, impacts. Uh, to produce uh, monocultures of corn and soybeans, it takes enormous amounts of fertilizer and land. Uh, worldwide, Vaclav Smil from the University of Manitoba estimates that about 80% of all soybean production is fed to animals and not people. We've come to discover over the last few years that animal agriculture is responsible for a huge portion of greenhouse gas emissions. And again, that goes from all the ingredients that go into making modern meat, everything from the fertilizers and the, and the crops used to uh, feed animals to uh, the transport of, of millions of animals uh, across borders worldwide. And uh, experts estimate that about 18% of all greenhouse gas emissions are, are a result of animal agriculture. So all of these sorts of, of uh, ingredients uh, set up a recipe for disaster. Animal agriculture is responsible for about 9% of CO2 emissions, about uh, 30 to 40 percent of methane emissions, and for nitrous oxide, I think it's about 65 percent of, of emissions. So these, uh, you know, this comes from the, the animal's enteric fermentation, the digestive process that goes on um, where belching and, and farting uh, livestock are, are contributing to this problem. Uh, the, the decomposition of, of manure, um, again, we talked earlier about how much manure is created by factory farming and industrial animal operations, and that, uh, that manure gives off methane, which uh, is a very potent greenhouse gas uh, and has a huge impact on, on the number of greenhouse gas emissions in the atmosphere. If we don't change our meat production and consumption practices, I, th I think the future looks very dire. Uh, the spread of factory farming worldwide has too many negative consequences uh, in order to be sustainable. Uh, the environmental impacts are, are too great, the animal welfare impacts are too great, and the impact on small farmers and communities are far too great. I used to think that it would take some sort of large-scale disaster uh, to, to make people aware of, of the impacts of factory farming on the environment and human health. And now I, I, f I feel differently. We've already had some huge-scale disasters. We've had salmonella contamination of, of millions and millions of eggs. We've had large-scale beef and other meat recalls, and, and people sort of aren't getting the message. So I think it takes, um, instead of, of focusing on, on fearing our food, uh, we need to just become more aware. And I think that takes education from, from the very earliest ages when children are, are uh, eating it, you know, me solid meals at home for the first time to what they're learning in school. Uh, we just need more education about where our food comes from so that we can make better decisions in the long run. Adding some vegan or vegetarian uh, dishes to your uh, repertoire, even, you know, just a few times a week could have a huge impact. Um, for one, I, I think people will feel healthier when they're eating less meat. Uh, unfortunately, in the United States and in the Western world, we consume about 80 kilograms of meat per year, and, and folks in developing countries uh, consume only about 30 kilograms per year. So even just uh, lessening um, you know, the hamburgers we eat for lunch or the bacon we eat for breakfast could really have a, a huge impact on, on our, our well-being and our health. You know, um, uh, consumption and overconsumption of animal products has been linked to uh, things like cancer, heart disease, obesity, diabetes. So um, eating healthier uh, is something that everyone can benefit from. Visit farmers and farmers markets and, and farms where animals are being produced for human consumption and know where your food comes from. Michael Pollan likes to say that if, if factory farms were made of glass, no one would eat the meat that came out of them. And so making yourself aware, and I know it's very hard for a lot of consumers because it's much easier to go to the supermarket and, and see those pretty uh, packages wrapped in cellophane, but knowing where your food comes from is more important than ever before not just for your own health, but for the health uh, of your local communities, your local farmers, and your local ecosystems.